Welcome to Tea Time, my friends, a place where I muse about my gender transition experience and in the process aim to comfort and inspire others to a greater level of self-awareness. I am Artemis, and today we are enjoying a cup of brownie cake pop from the Rose and Vine Gift Company. And today I wanted to um, tackle a comment that I got on one of my videos. And I'm actually, I'm very grateful for this person posting this comment because it gives me an opportunity to uh, bring something to light, uh, a topic of discussion, some more insight, which again, on this channel, I'm always aiming to do is looking at things and um, trying to understand where they're coming from and make things better as a result. So improve things where light is being shed. So. Uh, this comment was on uh, my a video that I did about chest binding. So this individual's comment, um, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit because the English wasn't all that great, but the comment was, you're so beautiful, girl, why do you do this? So, of course, without proper grammar and punctuation and context, some other things, I can't tell exactly what this person meant with this comment, but in this video I'm going to talk about what I think they meant, where it was coming from, and how we can, uh, we can understand all of this to uh, improve ourselves. So I believe that they made this comment, uh, well actually I might as well just go ahead and read the, uh, the reply that I gave to them on my channel. So uh, the comment that I wrote was, your comment tells me that you are coming from a cultural or familial background that is used to conforming to what people around you want versus what the individual wants. I know this because instead of considering that I find myself more beautiful without my breasts, your first comment is to lament that I have marred my beauty in your eyes as if your opinion is what should be most important to me when it comes to my own body. I can't even take your compliment of you're so beautiful very far because it reflects only that on the surface you find me aesthetically pleasing, which any woman of substance will tell you that that gets really old really fast. And I, I'll pause here from commenting uh, or from continuing with the comment, because I, I have, I've talked to so many women, you know, very, very pretty women, who say that it's just, it's it's so tiresome and it's so old when they're constantly being um, approached by men that, you know, oh, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty, you know, let me have your number, let's go out, you know. Um, and, you know, not to say, oh, you poor girl, you know, you're so pretty that you get so much attention, let's look at it empathetically from those women's perspective is that you know if this woman is of any kind of you know character or substance she's going to get tired of constantly being approached simply because of the way that she looks these people don't know her um, and they're literally only after her objectifying her for the way that she looks so uh, I can definitely see how that would get really old really fast, and I do have some empathy for women who are experiencing that. Anyway, um, so back to my comments. Did I have a nice rack? Yeah, yeah I did. And I can have some humor about that. Was I attractive as a woman when I cleaned up? Yeah, sure. I, I was attractive, I suppose. Was I happy with myself as a feminine presenting person? No, I wasn't. Ultimately, if you are not happy with who you are, the world around you will suffer too, as you are not able to contribute well to society if you feel broken yourself. Just think about how cranky you get even when you're hungry, and then try burdening your body with that feeling times a thousand, and you begin to get the picture. Yeah, the world may be short another nice-looking female body, but it's gaining someone who has been freed of a ton of emotional, mental, and physical baggage and can bring peace, maturity, and clarity to the world, which I think we need far more than just another pretty pair of titties. And that's just me being a smart ass there. Injecting a little bit of humor where it's 
definitely needed. But I don't have any hard feelings for this guy. I'm assuming it's a guy. It was a, a masculine name. Um, because I, I feel like I understand where he's coming from, where that is a very common, um, a common tactic, a common cultural practice where um, you are considering what's being lost only from your perspective and not empathizing with that other person. So maybe on one level they, they were sad because they thought I was you know, doing it because I, I had some kind of hate for my body or hate for myself and I was just trying to change it because I was you know, trying to conform to, I don't know, some, uh, some pressure or some other standard, which was not the case. And I know some, certainly there are some people that transition for those reasons, for some social pressures, or to think that it'll solve some problems that they have when it, it doesn't. That's why therapy is so important. Um, but in this case, uh, I feel like the way that I commented um, is perhaps more of a common situation that comes up and, and what I think was um, where he was coming from in posting that comment. So like I said, I don't have any hard feelings for the guy, and um, I'm certainly not offended whatsoever. I did have to take some time to think about where they were coming from and where I'm coming from and then come up with that response. And again, all I'm ever aiming to do is to create some understanding and some empathy between both parties so everybody can be better informed and happier as a result. So feel free to leave a comment down below what you think about that interpretation of that comment or if you yourself have been guilty of some of those things before and if you've learned anything from watching this video, I would love to hear about it. Uh, until next time, take care.